Alright there guys and welcome back to Let's Play Crash Bandicoot 4. In the last episode we began here at the Salty Wharf of 1717. We did the first level, Booty Calls and collected three gems. Then we came here to do this level, Hook, Line and Sinker, as Tana, Crash's girlfriend from the original game. And also this appeared again. We attempted to do this but uh... Yeah, good, good luck. Have fun with that. In this episode, we're actually going to go back to the second dimension of the hazardous waste of 2084. Because a, right at the end of last episode, a, a level for Torna... A level for Torna actually appeared. I don't know about... The uh, the first dimension, it didn't. There wasn't a level that showed up, so I doubt it. So yeah, this is a brand new level, and actually, this will explain something that happened. Remember in the set penultimate level of this world, the one before we fought Engine, and how something happened, and Coco had like a question mark above her head in like what just happened. This actually shows you. This is to show you what happened because. Tana was actually the one doing something. See, look, the, the, the chainsaw guys are back. Oh, okay, wait. This place rules. Can, can I be a badass? Can I do this? <laughs> oh my god, that's so unfair. And these, these tabs right here I showed you last episode, these are wall jump. Great start. Wall jumping not... Wall jumping not working for me. Thanks, game. I'm... I'm... Oh god, that was close. There we go. Uh, yeah, Tana has a... Uh, a grappling hook. Can I use... Can I use my grappling hook on the nitro crates? No, I cannot. Okay, I feel like that would be a little... That would be a little too OP and that's... That's the game being like, that's the game being a little too nice to you. What's over this way? Okay. Just a TNT crate. Oh. That'll have been to get that extra life down there that I've mi now missed. Okay, uh... There we are. Let me try something. Let me... Oh, well, let's come back. Oh my god, I almost fell. See ya. Oh, that's so much easier than having to try and jump on him. In it. <gasps> hidden I found it. Hey, look at that. I found the hidden gem. I rarely ever find the hidden gem. I only I only found the hidden gem in the first two levels of the game. So what do I just jump and hope for the best? Yes sir. Say ya. Wait for you. Wait for this to go off. 
Oh god. Oh, that was a little too easy. Does it come back? Yes. Oh my god, I failed. Oh, I I went too fast. Aha, I saw you. Don't think you can escape me, boxes. This is actually really cool, this level. Right, now watch what Tonda does here. As you can see, she's doing something. She pushes... She pushes this thing. And that's why this appears for Coke and... Oh yeah, and uh... Oh yeah, and then you have to replay the rest of the level as Coco. Play the replay the rest of the level as you did the first time. Oh god. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I do not remember this many nitro crates here. Ho oh ho! Yeah, you have to replay. Basically, you have to replay the. Uh... Replay the, the end of the same level again. Don't think I actually got up there last time. No! And unfortunately, the deaths count. If you die as cut, these deaths are, are carried. Torna's deaths are carried over. So if you die as Coco, it counts. There we go. That's what I was trying to do last time. And, haha, <laughs> 69. You love to see it. Only miss 15 boxes, I'll take that. So, even though Tonda did most of the work, so we got 4 out of 6 gems, I'll take that. Let us get on to the next level. That was actually really fun. I actually really enjoyed that. And that shows a brand new mechanic where you saw Coco with the question mark and exclamation mark put part, um, points above her head when we did that, when we played this level here the first time, but you didn't know why. And then you go back as Torna and it shows you ha what happened in the first place. Now it is time for us to go here Jetboard Jetty to and as you can see Akano the uh, 
the mask that jumped into this dimension first is going to be picked up at some point and we're going to be able to use him wow this looks dear wow this place looks different at night compared to the daytime but yeah that level was so good although that's main maybe that's because Torna's grappling hook is a little too shall we say overpowered to where you literally cannot die with it against certain enemies anymore there's wow there's nearly 200 boxes That was look that was super lucky. And yeet. Oh look, they even gave us some nice candles to make us feel right at home. What a jump. No, I'm such an idiot. That's what I was meant, that's what I should have done. Right, the jet ski. You guys remember the this from Crash 1? I'd say, just be very careful. Just be very careful around here. And look at that, the flashback tape, it's transparent because we died. I'm such an idiot. If I hadn't died right then, that flashback tape would have been able to be picked up. Okay, I, I can do this. I absolutely can do this. Go back. You blow that up, then that does this. There we go. Seventy-three lives. Look at that. We started this. Ep we started this. I started this recording session, which was it. This episode has been recorded direct right after the last one. And oh, I see what I've got to do. It, the game it would not let me stop it wouldn't stop me crouching the game would not let would not
No! No, I died a fourth time. Oh. Oh, I didn't even make that. I didn't even make. I missed the freaking Aku Aku that time. God this is God this is immensely frustrating. Isn't it? I didn't even get the stupid one up. There we go, now I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting a bit more into the groove of it. There we go. I think there's a mini boss coming up in this level. I think. Back up to 70 lives. Okay, died seven times in this level. Not gr not great. There's the second gem. Oh, we've, okay, we got you again. Okay, so we've got you. Yeah, okay. And I died again because the game, because it was too slow. Oh, now I have to start the whole damn thing all over again. Oh, this level's been a bit of a slog, hasn't it? Oh, you are, God's sake! What's my concentration? And I got hit. And then I... This is getting increasingly frustrating. After how well I've done... 
only dying a couple of times. There we go. Okay, good. I'll let him. I'll, let, I'll have him throw one more. start all the way back here oh this is getting increasingly infuriating but the thing is crash 4 is known as the hardest game out of the four main games this is no this is known as the hardest I'm getting I'm actually look at this I'm I've done I've died so many times the game is literally saying hey you suck here's an extra Aku Aku for you because you're so bad that's literally what the game is doing I died so many times on this because <laughs> because of, of this stupid because well the upside is at least I have two Aku Akus now. Thank the thank the Lord and the, all that's holy. Thank God that's over. Oh God. No, no. Oh, this is in. This is beyond in infuriating. Oh my god, they didn't even hit it that they did then. Ah! This, oh my, ah, this is so infuriating. I keep dying over and over and over and over.
Oh my god, I could not get out of that sack! Well, there it is. The first proper rage of the series. Oh my god, oh my fu- are, are you kidding me? Did you- did you just see that bullshit? Did you just see that? What the fuck was that? I did not- I did, the game literally just killed me for no reason that time. Time for the mini boss. Yeah, there is a mini boss. Right, so I don't. I, I can't remember how you take this guy down. Not. You don't take him down by doing that. Uh, I can cut. I can confirm that for certain. Don't get hit by his tentacles. Ah, uh, just don't get hit. Oh, I see. Direct these guys into them. Oh, but if he slams down... Oh my god! This fucking shit level! Well, I know one thing. This is my least favourite level in the game so far. I absolutely despise this level with everything, it, with all of its being. It's infuriating! Oh, and you fucking missed. Oh great, and I've got hit, and I couldn't even fucking see what I got hit by! Oh my god, I've died 20 times on this bastard fucking shit level! I fucking hate this. I absolutely hate this. I'm so fucking pissed off right now. Just get this shitty bastard own fucking level over, please! Oh my god, I've already been fucking hit. What? How? What? By, by what? I need two fucking Aku Akus.
Thank God. I just got a trophy called Silent Protagonist. There was nothing signed about that shit. And now we meet the brand new mask, Akano. So. Akano! Old Dark Matter himself! A careful crash. He's heavier than. <laughs> well, that's crap. That's a, bro that's a broken foot for crash. Alright. Two masks down, two to go. Feeling a little less panicked. I, I was at a 10 before, now I'm at a solid, let's say, 9.78. Oh yeah, these bandicoots are here to help. Bandicoot. Mm, follow. Short and to the point. Love this guy. <laughs> oh, that was a painful long slog, wasn't it? The most infuriating level of this game so far. Oh. So, yeah. Here we are at. Tranquility Falls, 1402. Wow, we're going even further back in time. Uh, so. This level here, never again. Oh, no, just no, never again will I ever do that. Unbelievably painful. But, that is going to conclude today's episode. Thank God. Oh, that was so bad. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the first Rage of the series. I, Like I said, it's probably not the last. There'll be some more to come at some point. Because this is the hardest Crash game, and I'm not very good at the original trilogy. Yes, yes, Coco. I think the same thing about this level. Sneeze on it. It doesn't deserve to be to be appreciated of how, how annoying it, it was. But that's it. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Please leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and until next time, catch you later.